But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love What's up guys? So for today's topic, I have something that's a little personal to me, something that I've gone through in my life, something that I've started seeing more and more, you know, in the media, something I've seen on Yahoo now, and something that's just now with the whole Trump protests and everything that's going on. It just seems like this is a topic that's becoming more of a forefront, and it has been over the past few years. And it's just something that I want to give my thoughts about. It's just something I want to talk about and just... I want to see if my opinions match up to anyone else out there. I want to see if maybe some of you guys feel the same way I do. But without further ado, I want to get into it. And the topic that I want to talk about today is just this whole idea of body image and this whole idea of body image in the media and how like there's the discrepancies from you know what is an actual realistic body image and when what is what you see portrayed in you know the mainstream media. What do you see with the models and everything and. I think this up until, well, I'm going to get into a little background of me. So as far as, you know, why this is a personal topic to me, um, I haven't talked about this to a lot of people, you know, some of my good friends, Mason knows, my girlfriend knows, and, you know, some of my other good friends know of this about me, but a ton of people do not. And this is that I've kind of had a ton of body image issues over my years. It started sometime around end of middle school early high school before middle before like my mm, we'll go with ninth grade year eighth grade year i was super super thin and i'm talking about like i was like five foot ten a hundred and like twenty five hundred and thirty pounds i was a twig and i'm gonna put a picture that's from my facebook up in this video just because it's really funny to kind of add now and it's funny for me to look back and be like i can't believe i was that thin like i was Turn to my side, you can't see me thin, not like paper thin. And sometime toward the end of middle school middle school and early into high school, I hit my growth spurt and I gained some height. I gained like three to four inches. I, you know, got up to about my six two, six three height that I am now. But what I really did was put on weight. I put on I think sixty forty or sixty pounds in one year. And I don't know how many of you guys hit your growth spurts yet. I don't know, you know, what you, what happened when you guys did hit your growth spurt. But I feel like most people are not putting on that much weight over 50 pounds. I feel like it's almost ridiculous to put on. But I filled out like no one's business. And at the same time, I wasn't eating right. You know, up until that point, I was able to eat whatever the heck I wanted. And I wasn't putting on any weight, so it was a change for me. I hit this growth spurt, my metabolism slowed down, you know, my body started changing, but my diet didn't. And because of that, I ended up getting to, like, 215 pounds, um, which for my height, it's not terrible, but it wasn't a healthy 215, and that's one of the big issues. It was a 215 pounds of, I eat chips three days, you know, every night of the week while I'm at 12 o'clock playing Xbox, I have... Four monsters on weekends while I'm trying to stay up and play Xbox. I go out and get frozen yogurt. Or I get ice cream four days a week with friends. It was the kind of 215 where you look and you're like, well, he clearly doesn't eat right. Um, and I think the only thing that kept me from getting higher than that 215 was the fact that I was on the basketball team. And high school basketball is really just kind of where my body image issues kind of started to develop, I'm going to say. And... It's because I was amongst a bunch of people who were just naturally cut, you know, they had six packs, they had that little V line that all the girls seemed to like, and it was something that I just didn't have. Whether it's genetics, or whether the fact that it was my diet, which I know it contributed to it, it was just something that I was always self-conscious about. And plus, on top of that, I ended up getting a ton of stretch marks on my back because of that 40 to 60 pounds I gained in a year. You know, and that's something at that point in high school, that was something that you could make fun of. And then, on top of that, I'm a teenager, so I had acne, not just on my face, but on my back. And it was just a ton of things that kept coming on that I was just like, I, I can't, this is something that I, like, mentally, I was not prepared to deal with all that. And in high school, it was just something that was, it was easy to get made fun of for. I remember when we used to play shirts and skins basketball. And whenever I took my shirt off, I knew some jokes were going to come. Like, I dreaded it. I hated it. And, you know, I remember one day after practice, the next day, 
I was sitting in my, um, just my homeroom in, like, social studies or some class, and one of the wrestlers looked over to me, and he's just like, Hey, Max, I didn't know you had so much fluff on you. And it's just, you know, little comments like that that aren't meant to be hurtful. They're not meant to kind of, like, trigger anything, but it was just one of those things where it was... It automatically made me feel like crap, and I was just like, you know, why can't I look like them? Why can't I have the six-pack? Why can't I... You know, why am I the one that has to be, you know, s standing out like this? But, you know, over four years of high school, whenever I couldn't make a suicide, whenever I would, you know, f maybe if I was clumsy or just if something happened, whatever happened, if I had to, if you, if one of the players had to guard me and I had my shirt off, there was a joke made and it was over years. It, it took its toll and I'm not going to, you know, hide that at, at, at any point. It was just... You know, because of that, there were times where if my friends wanted to go swimming at the local pool, or, you know, if they wanted to come over and swim, I, you know, I would say no. I would avoid the chance to take my shirt off. I would avoid chances to, you know, where I'd have to feel bad about myself like that or get made fun of. And I think that's something that's really just terrible, and I think that a lot of people are going through it. But that's my personal story, and I just kind of want to get into, you know, my opinions on this issue. And... You know, and I started to open my eyes at that point because of my experiences in high school and because of what happened to me, I think that, um, you know, that men have that same pressure to have that ideal body as women do. Um, just as, you know, women have that pressure to be thin or have a big butt or have big boobs or, you know, whatever, you know, that pressure is being put on them, I think men have the equivalent in just some different areas, you know, I think guys have that pressure to have abs, they want that V-line that, you know, that was so, I guess, you know, wanted in high school. I just remember seeing a ton of posts, like, I'd go on Facebook or I'd go on Twitter back in high school and I'd see, like, a thousand posts of girls being like, oh my god, when he has the V, and that was just, I, you know, I learned that's, that's what something that women wanted, or, you know, you'll see those little memes of that guy who's, like, standing, hanging up a picture shirtless, and he has a really strong back, and, you know, it's just things like that where it's, after so long, you just learn, this is, you know, I guess that's the ideal, you know, this is what I need to have to be attractive, and, you know, when it comes to the mainstream media, you see women have the Victoria's Secret models, or they have these actresses, and everyone is so thin, and they just feel that pressure to need to, to look like that, and that's been talked about and you have all these you know outspoken i guess mainstream people now like demi lovato and zendaya and you have amy schumer who are coming out and finally saying you know like that's not a night that's not the real what you really look like you know this is edited but you don't see that for guys you see you know people like zach efron and channing tatum and ryan reynolds and all these guys in movies that are just super jacked Zac Efron pretty much looks like he was a Greek god carved from marble at this point. I have no idea how he did that in so little time. I'm sure he had some crazy training program working with The Rock, but I digress. And it's just, you know, you don't see people talking about that. You know, you have Amy Schumer doing these posts, but when was the last time you saw, like, Jonah Hill doing a shirtless and, like, naked thing like Amy Schumer did? It's just, you don't really see that. Or when was the last time you saw a um, Calvin Klein model with a beer belly? Or, <laughs> it's just, you know, you don't see that that often, and, you know, we don't have, as as the male side, we don't have that many outspoken people, and, you know, that might be because not as many men are dealing with this issue, or it's just, you know, the guys that are, they keep it more quiet because we have this, you know, need to feel macho, or this need to feel like we're invincible, and that we, you know, that we're never hurting. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like it's not out there. At this point, I think I might lose some of you, and I... I don't want to offend anyone, you know, I don't want to take away from what, you know, the women are going through. I, there's some terrible things going on because of this, you know, this whole body image issue. You have so many eating disorders and just so many body dysmorphic issues that are going on. And I don't want to take away from that by saying this, but I think men almost have it worse in this case. And the reason is, I think it's because when you look at the issues facing women it's because they're having their you know artificially thinned through photoshop and you have all these girls trying to get that thin but for the men's side you, it's not just about being thin you know you can't look at a really thin guy and go you know oh he looks like the models 
and the issue is that it's not enough anymore. You have to be super buff. You have to have a six pack. You have to have that V line. You have to have big biceps, or you just you have to be built. And that's not an issue that I see women dealing with. And in fact, I think more women should get in the gym. I think they should lift, and I think they should just take that extra step and get be more physically fit and more and healthier. But I. I think a lot of girls, they think that if you get really buff or you get built or if you're a woman who lifts, you start looking manly, which is just 100% not true. And But that's the thing, that guys, they just they feel this compulsive need not to just to be thin, but to be buff. And I think that's an extra, you know, set of pressure that we get. Um, but, like, you know, you don't see Calvin Klein models that are really thin. You know, you don't see a 6-foot, 150-pound guy. You see the 6-foot-3... 240 pounds built clearly works out and it's just um i know for me it's just one of those things where i feel like you know there's more pressure in the men's favor to not just be thin but to be built and you know it's just another one of those things that i've kind of realized and it's still not even talked about like i just feel like it's been lacking as far as like attention goes in the media in the end the bottom line is it all needs to stop you know we can't be putting so much pressure especially on the younger generation you know the girls and guys and that are in middle school or the ones that are even younger you know we can't have this still going on when they're older because then it's just going to be this never ending cycle eventually it's going to have to stop and i love seeing those um people that are speaking out like demi lovato and zendaya and even amy schumer i love seeing those speak out but i feel like we need to have it on both sides you can't just have it on the female side and you know if there's some guys speaking out about it i may have just overlooked it and you guys could put in the comment section below of it but i and why i'm bringing this up is because i actually saw a yahoo article about this where i was talking about like you know i think we've overlooked these the issues with men you know we keep talking about the female side of this but no one's ever really spoken on the you know the male side of it and I was really happy to see that article. I saw it and I immediately, you know, I didn't actually read it enough because I saw it while I was in class and I didn't want to stop listening, but it was one of those things I was just happy to see and it was like, finally, after so long, I finally see, like, I finally got to see another side of it. Like, I know just a few of my friends have had issues like this just because, you know, whether they were overweight when they were younger or because they got overweight when it was work because they had to work and they got a nine to five job whatever it was it was just i know other people are dealing with this and i just feel like it's not talked about enough and i was just so happy to talk to them about it because it's hard to talk to someone else about it when they really just don't relate and i just want to see what your guys's opinion is i just think that it all needs to stop on both sides but i just wanted to bring some light or just bring some attention to you know, my opinions and my experience with it on, you know, the male side. I feel like it's just kind of been lacking. I feel I feel like there needs to be more awareness about it as an entirety. You know, it just can't be a one-sided thing anymore. I think everyone needs to accept that what's going on, you know, all these body image issues that are coming up are on both sides. And even if, you know, the male side isn't outspoken about it because they want to hide it, whatever it might be, I just feel like it needs to have that equal attention. And I think I'm going to wrap the video up here. You know, I really just wanted to talk to you guys and see your opinions on this topic. It's something that's really personal to me. It's something that's been a part of my life ever since, you know, in middle school and high school. And if you guys want to share your stories, I'd love to read them. You know, I'd love to be able to help anyone that I can. I hope that, you know, maybe some of you who are seeing this have gone through the same thing and you just didn't want to talk about it. I hope, you know, maybe having me talk about it will help open you guys up and, you know, just be more open to, you know, talking and trying to get through some of those issues because, you know, for me, being able to talk to my friends, it was, just, it was amazing knowing something someone else was going through the same thing. But if you really like these story videos and just these off topics, please let me know. Leave in the comments section or just like and subscribe. We'll hopefully be putting out more videos. I know I will be putting out more videos like this in the future. So, as always, stay achieving, and we'll see you at the next video.